Timu.com reached out to me and said they would send me some stuff from their bestsellers page so I could look at it and say out loud what I honestly think. Seems like a bit of a gamble to me, Timu, but I'm into it. This one's a little unscripted, so I don't actually know how this is gonna go. I haven't opened this stuff up and messed with it yet. Let's just go, let's just do it. Let's not waste anyone's precious time. This is probably the thing I'm most excited about. It's $30 and this is a little drone. Look at this little thing. Folds up, it is suspiciously light. Uh, you also get some extra propellers, tiny screwdriver to change the propellers, a little Phillips, little Phillips head on here. And then the world's shortest charging cable. I want to see if it just works out of the box. You can connect this thing to your phone because it's got a camera, so you can, it should be shooting video. It says it has dual cameras. I guess maybe that's a camera too, but this shoots video, high definition video. I'm skeptical. So you can control it with your phone, but it also has this remote. There's one thing I noticed that the remote, it's not actually like analog. It's, there's buttons in each direction. Whoa, okay. Hey, that's actually, Pretty easy to control. It gets you in the plane of focus here. Can you steal the focus away? Yes, you can. That was a great shot, Mr. Drone. All right, well, reasonably easy to control. I'm pleasantly surprised. This is so light. This is the battery, this little thing. And this is so light. For comparison, here is one of my drone batteries uh, from a Mavic Air, which has actually got a smaller battery than the Mavic Pro. That's funny, but whatever, it's 30 bucks. I can't wait to see the video quality. Let's take this thing outside. If you like the look of any of these things that you're about to see, Timu has set up a special code for first time app users. You can download the app, put in this code, and according to what my Timu handler is saying, you'll get a free $100 to spend on the site. I had already submitted this video and they said that I had to add that in before posting it. There's a link below. $100 on this site buys you a lot of USB type C cords for charging stuff, if nothing else. So dang. I don't make any money from this link or that app, so no pressure for me. First, you gotta get on this thing's Wi-Fi. Here we go. It's called the UFO. It's not very windy. You can probably see the tree not really blown around. Okay, so we're connected to the Wi-Fi. And you go to the RC UFO app. <laughs> am I still? Yes, I am. That's really good. Okay. Oh, video record. There we go. Hey, go forward. Hey, no, 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 no. Possible I just don't understand the controls, but this really looks like forward. Well, we're, oh, we almost got out. We almost got out. Um, oh. Okay, we are off. I will say that, look at this, this does have control. Like, that's good. Oh, oh, we gotta try to get a view of us from the sky. Here we go, we're going up. Oh, oh, I've completely lost control. And it's going for a pond. I'm flying blind, but I am able to fly it. So no one can say it doesn't work. I don't know if I would call the video you get through it high quality. Oh, oh. Drone. Number two, we have a blood pressure monitor. Although you'll notice this is pretty small. Yeah, all this stuff is packed real tightly into their box. Convenient little case. Does this go on my wrist? You show it on your wrist. T-Daddy upstairs gave me the one that came from his doctor so we can 
pit this against a real blood pressure cuff for accuracy. Animation shows it looking like that. What is a healthy blood pressure for a middle-aged adult? Oh, 122 over 74. Well, if that thing's accurate, we're doing just fine. Tommy said use my left arm. Is this what you came here for? Man tests blood pressure live on camera. 114 over 61. I'm getting to the age where these numbers are something to brag about. <laughs> now that I've sat here for a while though, I'm more relaxed. I'm gonna try the Timu one again. 120 over 67? I mean, they both say that I'm healthy. Blood pressure cuff. I swear, I don't know what I read wrong, but I am really sure this said a 200 watt solar panel system. If you know anything about electricity, this, I'd be surprised if we can get 20 watts out of this. But let's see, it comes with connectors. Looks like it's meant to charge up a portable battery, but probably meant to charge up a 12 volt battery. There's a USB-C out, giant of the sun. Branded alligator clips. Hey, we'll test this one in the daytime tomorrow. Did you know the warehouse has a backyard? I haven't mowed it for about a year. So that says 13.7. I have my own confirmation and it is indeed putting out 13 volts. That's great. Really dead battery. While it's charging the battery, we ha I have a couple of USB power banks and I have a power bank meter here. Plug that in, power bank starts charging. But the funny thing is this number here, it's charging at 1.4 watts. Anyway, so it does work. It does do what it's saying it's doing. It's putting out the correct voltage for a 12 volt battery and USB voltage for charging USBs. Next up. Where'd that go? Doesn't matter. This is <laughs> adorable. This is a little, uh, a little belt sander. Jeez, they do not have a scale on the pictures. <laughs> this is a tiny little belt sander. So this is 150 watts. It's not nothing. Okay, so this probably goes on there. It's no doubt goes on there. This has a chip in it. Okay, so you get a little grinding wheel. Here we are. Get a little buffing wheel. Rubs against the sander. Maybe you gotta take the belt off to use the buffing wheel. We're not gonna be buffing today. Of all things that would be the least dangerous to use with something like this. My lawnmower. My lawnmower blade has been dull. I'm gonna go outside, take that thing off, and we are going to sharpen my lawnmower blade with this little, little baby belt sander. I need this, I need this. Dang. That should do just fine. There we go. It's about as sharp as a butter knife at the moment. The speed is actually on the power supply itself. Fine, I guess. Hey. That works great. This guy has a little spring tensioner on this arm to keep the belt tight. That's good, that's fine. This thing kind of freaks me out a little bit just cause it's right there and it's spinning and it's, so this switch is a reverser. So it goes this way or this way. That's great to have. I'm surprised at how well that works. There's this forever ongoing argument in the lawn care subreddits that I'm part of over whether or not you should make your blades actually sharp on your lawnmower. Aside from the fact that this is hilariously small and I didn't tighten this thing enough, this was gonna fly off. The belt sander part of this thing, I love it. Uh, oh, so this also came with many, many more little belts to burn through to sharpen stuff. This is really heavy. An ice maker, a tabletop ice maker. These are super popular on Amazon. This is clearly just a little mini mini fridge. You're gonna fill it with water, it's gonna make ice. Does it not come with like a scoop? Ah, it comes with a scoop. Okay, does this look like a cooking show? I could do a cooking show. Ice maker hack, already cold filtered water. Air coming in here, air going out here. Ooh, water stuff happening up there. It's 
Okay. I happen to be standing here. It's 716. Conclusions. For this one, the listing very clearly says 600 watts. It says 600 watt solar panel charger and it calls it a solar panel charger kit, which implies you get everything you need. This is a solar panel charging kit. This is not 600 watts. If you go down to the details, it again says 600 watts in the details. One of the pictures in the description even shows a panel that's about the size of two car tires wide. Clearly that's not what this is. So I would say this one could use a little more clarity, but I get it. When you search on the site, there are a ton of 600 watt solar panel kits and all of them are less than $50, so they have to be competitive to stand out. An actual 600 watt kit will cost several hundred dollars. Solar's been getting cheaper, but not that cheap. That said, this thing does work. It does charge a 12 volt lead acid battery at the proper voltage. It does shut off when it gets to that voltage. And I can think of several legitimate uses for a tiny little solar panel kit like this. I used to have this truck that I only used with an RV, but I didn't use the RV very often. So that truck's battery would die from just sitting too long. This thing comes with a little cigarette lighter adapter that just plugs right in where it goes out to the battery. So in theory, you could stick this in the dashboard of your truck, plug this into the cigarette lighter adapter, and it would just trickle in little bits of power and keep that battery alive. Same story with my backup generator. I live in Florida where there's hurricanes every year. So our power goes out like two times a year. It's got a little battery to auto start, and this thing is always dead, so I end up having to pull the pull start cord. Woe is me. I could just extend these cables, leave these clamped onto the battery of my generator, leave this thing out somewhere that's gonna be in the sun outside the shed where the generator lives, so that theoretically, it would always be good to go, except that the carburetor also clogs up when it sits for too long. You could use it to top off a battery on an electric gate in the middle of nowhere, things like that. But you are not going to be able to buy a 600 watt solar panel kit for less than 50 bucks. So that's the solar panel kit. This is the drone. At first, I was just kind of laughing at just how small and basic and light the construction of this thing is. And it's really pushing it to call this an HD picture. No stabilization. Actually, this camera's fixed, but you can sort of like bend it down, which I probably should have done. The phone app leaves much to be desired and even serves you ads when you first sign on to it. But if I think back like 15 years, this little thing would have been a marvel of technology. It can take off right here at my desk. And with the controller, I can pretty easily fly this thing around the room with a reasonable amount of control. So as a toy, this thing is great for 30 bucks. This thing is great. Maybe don't expect to take family portraits on the side of a mountain with this thing. I'm almost certain it'll just fly away and never come back. It actually flew away from me when it got out of the range of the controller and I had to run across the front yard to go get it. But just to mess around and buzz around your house for funsies, I'll allow it. I must have crashed this thing a dozen times when I was trying to control it with my phone before I started using the controller. And one of the pros of it being so light is that it doesn't destroy itself or whatever you crash it into when you're just bumping around the house. The wrist cuff blood pressure tester thing. Tens of thousands of these things sold. My God. I really trust the big one that came from Tommy's doctor. It gives me the same reading I get when I go to the doctor or when I go to the Higgy station over at the Publix. I looked up some studies, I'll link them below, from the National Library of Medicine, and they basically say that using your forearm for taking your blood pressure is a good predictor of your actual blood pressure. As in, if you're in real trouble and you should probably see your doctor, this will indicate that by using your wrist for your blood pressure. But it probably won't be as accurate as getting a reading from your upper arm. So it's okay to get your blood pressure reading this way, and the readings that this thing gave me were in the ballpark of the readings that I got from the real one. If you're not in a life or death situation, this little gadget is a fine thing to have around your house to keep a little graph of your blood pressure. And it talks. Again, 15 years ago, this is a thousand dollar item. I made that up. I don't know what sort of at home blood pressure tests were available in 2005. And also go see a doctor if you're riding the line of hypertension. It's an easy enough thing to fix and you'll live a lot longer. I give this four stars out of five just because you have to put regular AAA batteries in it and I never have those. I'd rather if it just had its own internal rechargeable battery. This little darling, this thing is the star of the show for me. I took the grinding wheel off. That'll need a lock washer to be safe. And it turns out it came with this little cap to cover up the spinning part of the motor. I probably wasn't gonna use that at all anyway. But this thing is all made out of steel, simple construction, no mysteries. You can see how it all goes together. This little tensioner spring that keeps the belt tight and aligned, great feature. I would shoot a little lithium grease into these bearings every once in a while. It's a tiny motor, but it's a brushless motor, so it'll do work for a good long time. My lawnmower blades are like little katana swords now. And especially for my kind of cramped electronics workbench over there, this is the perfect size. This thing is gonna shorten tiny screws and knock the edges off of bad 3D prints for years. I was really shocked to see the actual size of it. It is so small, but going back through the listing, it actually does have, one of the pictures does have the size five inches tall on it. So that's on me. Oh, and the ice maker.
This is definitely the most polished of the products that came from Timu. It takes about a half an hour for it to make the first batch of ice, and then it pumps out eight cubes every four minutes after that. It's real clever how it works, and if you know me, and I know a majority of you do not, but if you did, you'd know I'd never pass up a chance to talk about a heat pump. Coldness isn't its own thing. It's basically the absence of heat. So glossing over basically all technical jargon, through a miracle of material science, we have figured out a way to move heat from one place to another by using a combination of high pressure liquid, some low pressure one-way valves, a compressor, and a couple of heat exchangers. This tabletop ice maker is essentially the exact same mechanical device as a window unit air conditioner. Instead of removing heat from the air in the room and putting it outside, this thing is removing heat from this little heat pipe in the shape of eight little fingers in the back chamber. And then from this port blowing that heat into the room. Hot air comes out of the side here, and that leaves these little metal fingers extremely cold. They dip into a little water bath, ice accumulates around them, and then it dumps out that water, ejects the ice thimbles into a little bucket, and then scoops them into this container on the front of the machine. This thing does exactly what it says it'll do. It's got little controls in the front, it's got an auto shut off for when the basket is full or when it runs out of water. You can make large ice or small ice with it, it doesn't taste like anything. Definitely clean out the inside where you dump water in before you use it. I'm not gonna lie, I expected to be kind of hilariously disappointed by the things that arrived from Timu. I keep saying Timu, but I looked it up and it's actually pronounced Temu. I would say though, if you're gonna order stuff from this website, and they've started opening up US-based warehouses. It used to be you'd have to wait like a month to get anything, but now it's a lot more like Amazon. Stuff comes pretty quick. But if you're gonna order stuff from here, be really thorough in your investigation of all the pictures and the descriptions. Things aren't necessarily written out in a perfect way. I think it goes through a lot of translation. That's Timu. That's Temu.